After downloading the Acronis software, double-click the downloaded installation file of Acronis True Image for Crucial. Click Install to run the installer, then press Start Application to launch Acronis. You must accept the Acronis license agreement to begin using the program, then click OK. Select Start Cloning Wizard for quick launch of the clone disk function. Closing this window or making other selections will access non-cloning features of Acronis, several of which are not available in the crucial version of Acronis True Image. Automatic cloning mode will be the default and should provide the quickest and easiest copying process for most users. Select the source disk with the data to be copied, then click Next. Select the destination disk, which is the disk being copied to. The source disk will be grayed out on this screen to prevent data loss from the source drive. A new storage drive will reflect not initialized in this view, provided it has not been initialized or formatted prior to the cloning process. After clicking Next, if you choose a disk with formatted partitions or other usable data, a message will ask you to confirm your selection or choose another disk. Next, you'll be asked to select a cloning method with a default choice to replace a disk on the current machine. Click Next. Review the summary screen to confirm that you've selected the correct drives. This is your final chance to cancel this process and go back to make changes if desired. Click Proceed to begin the cloning procedure. If you're cloning your OS from a SATA drive to an NVMe drive, you'll need to boot your new NVMe drive to safe mode on your first boot to allow Windows to load the NVMe drivers. Once booted, simply reboot your system normally. Refer to this link for instructions. Depending on source disk attributes and background processes, your system may reboot and begin copying outside the OS, or a Cronus True Image for Crucial may run the clone within your operating system. Either way, a progress indicator and countdown will estimate the time it will take to complete the copying process. After that, you can change the boot order in your system BIOS or UEFI. Or if you want, you can replace your boot drive to begin using your migrated software on your new SSD.